Hey guys, it's Sash, and in this video, I'll be sharing a really powerful deck with Executioner. This is a deck created by my friend Marcel P, who made it as far as number one in the global leaderboards last season with this deck. Here's a picture of him with two accounts in the top four. If you guys don't know who Marcel P is, he is, in my opinion, one of the best Clash Royale players in the game. He's won many big tournaments, is well known throughout the competitive Clash Royale community. I've met him in real life not too long ago during the Crown Zool event, and he's a great guy. He also recently created a YouTube channel named Marcel P Clash Royale. I'll leave the link to his YouTube channel in the description below so you guys can check him out. He's got really great Clash Royale strategy content. So let's try out his deck in some battles. It's a really powerful beatdown deck and what I like the most about it is the Prince, who you can use to pressure your opponent quickly by switching lanes at any time, catching your opponent off guard. So let's see, first battle against Kopito D. Neve. <laughs> Hopefully I pronounced that correctly. Good luck. Uh, we have Giant Ice Spirit Executioner. I'm going to play my Ice Spirit first, see what he goes with. He's going to go with Skeleton Arm. He's going to split them. Alright, I'm going to play my Executioner at the back right here. He's going to play a Tesla. Uh, my Arena Tower can easily take out those Skeletons, of course. So now, he's got that Tesla. Hmm. I'm going to play my Giant to Shield, my Executioner. And I'm thinking about making a push on the other lane with the Prince. He just played his Skeleton Army, so he doesn't have a suitable counter, I don't think against my prince. He's gonna play uh, minion horde, but look how easily the executioner took out the minion horde and by pressuring him on the other lane, it forced him to play his ice wizard there. So now he doesn't have anything to defend against this push on the right with the giant and prince. And just like I was telling you guys about using the prince um, on the other lane to just quickly pressure your opponent, catch him off guard, and it worked to perfection there. Awesome. Okay, uh, so it's a great start. Both of my towers are at full health. I'm gonna play my Ice Spirit at the back. Let's see what he goes with. Um, he still hasn't played anything. Okay, we're gonna go with the Executioner. He played his Tesla. You never wanna play your defensive building too early because they, of course, have a timer and it's starting to decay. Look at the Tesla. I haven't really touched it and it's already at like 40% health, which is excellent. Um, now, I do know he has the Skeleton Army, so I'm gonna ready my Zap very soon. Okay, right here. By readying, I meant that uh, I'd have enough elixir to use the zap if needed. I'm expecting him of using skeleton army here. Um, yeah, there we go. There's his skeleton army zap it all. And unfortunately, he does have great defense with his Valkyrie and his Ice Wizard combined with his Skeleton Army. However, he doesn't have very good offense, so it's gonna be very hard for him to get to for him to get to my tower. He's gonna play his Tesla, which is practically useless. Not really gonna do much. Um, so this should be a pretty easy victory for me. There's only 57 seconds left. I'm gonna play my executioner at the back. Um, expect, I'm hoping, well, I was anticipating him of making a move, but now he shows that he has Balloon and Graveyard, so that just completely caught me off guard right here. I'm gonna have to sacrifice that tower because I don't have anything to defend it, uh, defend against it right now, but I have a very powerful push going on here. I'm gonna play my Lightning, finish off that Tesla. I'm expecting Skeleton Army right here, so I'm gonna raid my Zap. Yeah, there's a Skeleton Army. Zap, unfortunately, I couldn't get a couple of those skeletons, but there's only 24 seconds left, and I can finish him off with a lightning. I just need to defend against his balloon and graveyard combo, which uh, I don't think he's going to be able to take my tower down here with. Uh, so let's see. His tower is at, of course, 234, which I can finish off with a lightning, and that's what I'm planning to do here. There we go. We're going to lightning right here. Just a tower. Finish off that tower. There we go. And one second. Good game. Okay, guys. Next battle against I'm Batman. <laughs> okay, good luck. We have Prince, Ice Spirit, Lightning, and Furnace. We're gonna start off with the Furnace, of course, right here. Okay, he's gonna go with the Hog Rider. We're just gonna use the Ice Spirit. We're gonna need to distract those minions, so we're gonna use the Prince and use the Prince to finish the Hog. Um, there goes our Prince, but it's a decent defense because now I have Fire Spirits from my Furnace to help, you know, deal some more chip damage to his towers. But he's gonna play uh, Musketeer on the other lane, which is fine by me. I'm just gonna use my Executioner to counter, but he's gonna use the miner right there. Alright, so I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my giant to push back the musketeer and have it redirect its target onto my giant. Here he's gonna play his tombstone, so I'm reading my uh, log here. I just need one hit with the giant and the log can finish off the rest. So there we go, and he's gonna play his minions, of course, not gonna do much because I have the executioner right there um, supporting my giant, but okay, good defense for him. Um, Alright, so we're gonna play down furnace very soon. We're gonna go for his tower on... Actually, let's go for the tower on the left. That way we can also uh, guard our tower on the left since it's weaker. Okay, so he's got a Musketeer. I'm expecting Miner very soon with that Musketeer. Um, let's see, he's got Tombstone. Okay, we're gonna play the Prince right here. Hopefully his Musketeer gets closer. Yeah, there we go. Uh, we're gonna use 
Ice Bear, and then we're gonna use the Executioner right here at the center. Oh, it was just a tile away from targeting that, uh, the Hog Rider. But we got the Executioner to take out the minions here, so we're gonna add in a Giant, and he's got the Tombstone, of course, but we got the Executioner. He's gonna use his Miner to counter my Executioner. But I'm just gonna zap those Skeletons from the Tombstone, and nice. Now we got a very good combination going. Um, got, I think two swings, was that two swings? Still, it's decent. I just gotta now secure that tower on the right against his Hog Rider push. He's gonna most likely use a pig push where he, um, he's gonna have the Hog Rider jump over that building towards my tower. Let's see. Um, we're gonna go with Giant and Executioner. Just pressure him heavily on the left, not allow him to make that push with the Hog Rider. If he does go with the Hog Rider push, I'm just gonna ignore it and just go for his tower. Let's see. Okay, he's gonna go with Miner on our Executioner. And we'll just use a lock to finish off the Tombstone here. And, okay, so, <laughs> he's got the Musketeer, but that Musketeer is going to go after the tower on the left, since it was pushed a bit, and he's going to use a Fireball. Oh, he did get my, uh, he, he got my Ice Bear that I placed at the same time there. Okay, now we got this powerful push going with Executioner, Prince, and Giant. Okay, we're going to use the Log, and let's see, we're going to send in another Prince. Let's go, two Princes. He's got the tombstone, doesn't matter, we got Executioner. And now we're gonna add in this Ice Spirit. How are you gonna stop this? We're gonna use a Lightning, finish him off. Good game, Clutched. <laughs> okay guys, last battle. This is a really strong deck. Good luck to this guy from Nova, Ireland. Um, hmm. Okay, we're gonna go with the Furnace on the left lane, because he just played his tombstone early uh, towards the right lane. So this is gonna allow my Fire Spirits to get to his tower on the left while avoiding his tombstone and here use the lock to quickly finish off these goblins it sucks that you can't zap those goblins anymore but that's what makes the lock such a great card to have nowadays uh, with your zap spell it just makes it very easy to deal with bait decks all right so he's got the executioner um the prince is such a great counter to the executioner he's got a knight as well okay um, let's see. Oh, he's gonna use Rocket. No, there goes my execution. Oh, no, he missed. Did he? Oh, my goodness. He missed my execution with his Rocket. Wow. He says good game already. Man, <laughs> this is why I don't use Rocket that often. If you guys watch my videos, you, you guys rarely see me use Rocket. It's because of that, no, that error, basically. It has a high chance of going wrong. Not a high chance, but there's a chance of it, you know, just going wrong and missing your target. Um... Which I don't really like. <laughs> it just hurts a lot. Okay, so now I know he's got his rockets. So I'm not going to play my Executioner next to my Arena Tower any longer. So here we're going to go with the Giant. He's going to play his Knight. And he's probably going to add his yeah Executioner there. So we're going to Lightning all three. Uh, his Tower, his Executioner, his Knight. And uh, uh, with the Fire Spirit's damage added to that, it took out his Executioner. Okay, nice. We're going to play Prince. He's probably going to play his Tombstone. So I'm going to yeah have my Log ready right now. We're going to use the Log. One hit with the Giant, and there goes the rest. He played his Skelton Star at the same time, and he lost all of them. Wow. Okay. Um, There goes his Tower. We're going to push on the other lane at the same time. Two lane pressure. He's probably going to give up, because uh, there's no way you're going to stop this. He's going to play a Rocket. Where is he going to play that? <laughs> He's gonna play it nowhere, basically. Oh shoot, we missed uh, the the goblins, but that's a three crown, guys. We'll do one more battle. Okay, guys, last battle now against uh, Dark Man 1984. 1984. If he was born in 1984, that would mean he would be uh like 32 years old. <laughs> I'm guessing. I don't know why else he would pick that year. Uh, let's see. We have. Giant with Executioner. Bowler's gonna be distracted by the Giant. Yeah, let's Lightning here. We're gonna Lightning the Mega Minion, the Bowler. And... Okay, there we go. Can our Executioner get his Bowler, though? One... Oh, no. Did not get the Bowler, but look at his tower. Down to 1555, so that's great. He's got the Bowler here. Um... Let's see. We're gonna use the Ice Spirit to freeze. Okay, now freeze it as it's targeting my... Uh, furnace over there, great. It did not even get a swing onto my tower, so that's perfect. We're gonna play the furnace very soon right now. Um, no, okay. Uh, so he's gonna play his executioner. He's got executioner. He's got mega minion bowler. Most likely a giant, I'd say, or um, could be graveyard. So let's see. Uh, executioner at the back, and what is he gonna do with that executioner? He's gonna add a giant in front. No giant. So we're gonna use our. Oh no, he does have graveyard. Okay, so we did predict that correctly but now oh whoa freeze this this is gonna hurt <laughs> we're gonna use the log finish off all of those skeletons 
Um, let's see, he's got that Mega Minion. He's probably going to play his Bowler very soon to counter our Executioner. That's what I'm expecting here. Um, no, he's going to play his Ice Golem. Alright, let's do this. We're going to push on the other lane with the Prince. And then play our Furnace on the left. Okay, there we go. So we forced him to play his Bowler on the, on the right, basically, by playing our Prince. And now we're going to play the Executioner with our Giant for a push on the left. Now we need to address his Graveyard Freeze. How are we going to counter that? We're going to use Giant over here to distract his Executioner. Uh, we're going to use our Ice Spirit all the way at the back here. And then use our Prince. He's got the Tornado, but we're just going to use the Prince. We're going to use the Furnace to basically mitigate the damage of the, of the um, Skeletons from the... Uh, the graveyard basically and uh, look at our um, executioner he's far away enough to avoid being frozen along with the furnace and tower so I'm guessing he didn't want to use his freeze there um, instead he's got this um, defense going but it's not gonna be enough to stop us but he does have um, the tornado we're gonna push on the other lane with the prince forcing him to basically play his ice golem or bowler to uh, defend against the prince we're gonna use the furnace right now um, he's got the bowler to yeah defend against the prince as you guys can see over there and then we're gonna use the executioner uh, I know he, he wants to use his graveyard freeze so that's why he's taking a while there is his graveyard and he's gonna use the freeze very soon I'm expecting um, but he needs to address my push now we're gonna need to ooh zap that okay just to be safe and then just lightning and that's gonna be game yeah good game so I hope you guys like Marcel P's deck, it's a really powerful deck, and make sure to check his channel out and also subscribe to both our channels for more great Clash Royale content. I'll see you guys again soon. Later!